Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, interwebs, YouTube, and especially theshavingcadre.com, it's time once again for Prestidigitation! Here you are, Shavog! Bingo Wizard Edition! Prestidigitation! Prestidigitation! Hey everybody, Girnor, Chris on the shavingcadre.com, back with you for my weekly shave video. Today's goodies. Gillette New Long Comb, Astro SP Blade in there, few uses on that. Clean up, just in case, although I'll probably finish with the uh, Gillette New, um, figuring out pretty well how to use that, but just in case, Schick Adjustable Type M with a supply, I think it's the PFTE Blade or whatever in there, whatever supply uses, that's in there. Luxurious SV70th shave. It's been blooming. And of course, got to follow it up with SV70th aftershave. Give that a couple shakes, see if it lasts through the shave. And soaking over here, TSC first anniversary badger brush. From Mr. Eric Sorrentino, one of our hobbyists on the TSC. Does a very nice job on brushes. Let's get started. It is Monday, so I'm making this video on time. Had a couple problems with that in the past, but not today. Nice and loaded. Let's get to work. Mm. So good. How are y'all doing this fine Monday? I'm doing okay. Had a nice long nap. I did get to bed kind of late. My missus and I were watching an episode of Midsummer Murders on Netflix. One of her new favorite shows. Try to get in an episode an evening. It's pretty long. It's a BBC episode. Probably from the 90s. But it's fun. They're a bit long. They're like an hour and a half, something like that, each episode. But pretty good stuff if you're into murder mysteries and detective work kind of things. Some more water here, but I had a lot of bingo wizard powers drained yesterday. I got, I got about uh, seven calls reduced from my powers, mostly accidentally. I made some folks happy. Progressed the game along quite a bit. So, I think Nurse Dave said he's still about five days away. I could win this thing in five days if every single call is on my card from then on. So, good on you, Dave. I hope you get it. 
Anyway, it's been a fun game. Somewhat trying for my first time. In all seriousness, though, um, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if people are taking things, like, a little bit hard. And um, if I have ruffled any feathers, I sincerely do apologize. But um, know that everything I'm doing particularly in that thread, is like totally in jest, just for fun, trying to keep up the appearances of the reign of terror of bingo wizards that has been, the mantle that has been placed upon me. But, you guys know me, I'm a, about 90% of what I post on a TSC is chipping in, chiming in on the banter and it being funny, cracking jokes. I love that part of TSC. But I know people like their bingo. And I did make some mistakes. And I didn't own up to them outright on the forum, but I own up to them outright here. Not watching what calls I was making or people I was quoting or abbreviations I was making. So, but please, by all means, because nothing is certain in bingo, if you're curious about the day's calls and if you got them right, just pass me a message. I'm usually on or checking in every once in a while, but if it does take a while, don't worry. I will get to your message. Um, I'd rather have there be clarity than questioning. So, I am trying to make it fun. I know some of the calls I've made have been pretty challenging and maybe take a little extra time than normal to figure out. I'm trying to find my balance being my first time of what's too hard and what's too easy. So, but the first week's done. All you players that are keeping up, congratulations still alive, made it through the first week. Maybe for some of you it feels like an eternity. <laughs> but I hope you're having fun to some extent. Because that is 100% my intention. To give you a nice, good, fairly challenging bingo game. Anyway, enough of that. Weekend was nice. Did my yard work yesterday. Weather is still kind of warm. It's been in the upper 80s. At the end of the week, like Saturday, Sunday, after being in the hundreds a couple days. But sadly, we're climbing back up again this week, I think, toward upper 90s, hundreds, next weekend. So summer is not quite done with California as much as I wish it were. I love shorts and flip-flops, but I can wear those in fall too. It doesn't have to be a hundred degrees. <clears throat> I've been continuing my trials with the 
Game changer open comb and this Gillette new long comb. Figuring them out, getting much better shaves than when I started. Um, both razors have a decent amount of blade feel, <clears throat> but for an open comb, from what I've experienced, having come from the Piccolo, they're both um, much more manageable than the Piccolo, the Fatip, Fatip, however you like to say. The um, <clears throat> Game Changer 0.84 open comb is a lot is I well, let me not, but it's super smooth on the width of the grain and across the grain. The against the grain, it gets kind of you get a lot of blade feel and um, it feels fairly aggressive. Maybe a couple steps underneath the fatip. This new long comb it has more. It may not sound right, but it has more of a consistent blade feel. Like <clears throat> the width of the grain and across the grain and against the grain all feel pretty equal. Whereas I mentioned the Game Changer one um, feels a little bit smoother with the grain and across the grain. So this one is kind of like across the board. You know what you're getting into for the shave. It's still pretty smooth. I'd still say the Game Changer has um, more blade feel than this does. This blade feel is just more consistent for some reason. That's been nice. I do need to get back to my open blade shaves though. I've got the DX still to play around with for a little bit longer. And um, I've got my SS to get back into, my feather SS. And then I have the pass around razors coming my way probably in about a week. I think um, might be Dangerous Dawn that has them now, or they're on the way. And then I've still got the August Stunt challenge to take care of, if I can get that. I lent the only razor that might be able to do it, a Gillette Tech. That's in my position to a buddy to try who's getting into wet shaving, traditional shaving. And He might have it for another week or two, so, which is fine. I want him to experience and enjoy this fine pastime of traditional shaving. And so I am okay with him hanging on to it and being a little late on the challenge if need be, not a problem. All right, let's see where we're at here. Mm, not bad. Feels pretty consistent with the normal, what I normally get. I do a little cleanup. Here, I've been having a lot of trouble lately in this area 
like it doesn't seem, I mean, uh, seems like whatever razor I use, um, the hair has just become like thicker, coarser, more coarse and harder to shave. So it takes some cleanup to get everything to what I like. A little bit better. Course with SV seventieth for me and my water situation. Slickness is not a problem. All right, I think that's pretty good for today. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not seeing anyone besides the family, so. I mean, I want to impress, but I don't really have to impress. Anyway, I'm gonna do some cleanup, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Just did a lather soak, cold water rinse. I get some generic witch hazel now. So that's kind of what's going on. Been a pretty low-key week things are starting to ramp back up at work i work at my church as a custodian and our fall programs and ministry stuff is starting back up for the year this coming week or actually today i guess it is monday but so like our little small group bible studies and uh, meetings throughout the week are ramping up. More people are coming back from their summer vacation things. and So that's going to get a lot busier heading towards uh, the holiday season. Thayer's Medicated Witch Hazel. Well, they say it's Witch Hazel. It's got Witch Hazel in it. The mystery stuff. It smells and feels good. Oh yeah, let's see. All right, it's shaved fairly well shaken. We'll give it a couple more shakes here. Make sure it's nice and incorporated. Get a few drops out, there we go. Ah, so good, nice and fresh. Feels good on the skin, moisturizes, conditions. Anyway, congratulations on making it through another one of my videos. Put the cap back on there. Hopefully you stayed tuned through the whole thing because all the bingo calls are in this video. Hopefully you didn't miss them. If you did, go back, take a look. Reviews not for another week. Anyways, that's it. Join us. Bingo's going on. Got about 10 cards left if you want to sign up. It's been a pretty interesting game so far. Don't want to miss out. But theshavingcadre.com online. I'm Gear Nor there. Also known as Chris. That's my actual name, not Gear Nor. But uh, anyways, you all have a great week. I'll catch you later. Bye.